Hey everyone. So if you've created an application in C Sharp or VB.net and you need to create an installer for it, such as an MSI or EXE, then this is gonna be the video for you because I'm gonna show you step-by-step step how to do that. Um, it's a pretty easy process and it just requires an extension that is a Microsoft developed extension. So it's not gonna be some third-party product that's really hard to use. So yeah, that's about it. It's not gonna be terribly complicated, but if you do find this helpful, could you please like and subscribe because it would really help the channel out and then we could get out there and help more people. All right, so let's get right into it. All right, so the first thing we're gonna to need to do is grab the extension that's required. So the extension is called Microsoft Visual Studio Installer Projects. Um, you can go to online and then search for this extension if it's not showing up for you in the top of the list but it's one of the most downloaded extensions. So I'm gonna grab that. Um, we're gonna go ahead and download it. And now we need to restart Visual Studio to get it to install. And as soon as you close Visual Studio, this little extension installer will install it. So we're gonna go ahead and hit modify. And yeah, just let it progress on through. And it can take a second to install, but it really doesn't take that long. It'll just take a minute or so. All right, so once it's finished installing, you can open Visual Studio again. Um, you want to open the project that you want to create the installer for because it's going to be a second project inside the same solution. All right, so now that we've got our extension ready to go, we're going to right click on the solution up here and we're going to add a new project. And this new project is going to be a setup project. So I'm gonna go up here and search for the setup project template. And it's gonna be this right here. It says new, which is kind of helpful, but yeah, just a little setup project. So I'm gonna call it uh, storage setup because this is a little password storage application I made that I'm creating the setup for. Okay, so now once you've got to this point, you will have a new storage setup project over here. Evil storage is my like application that I've developed. And then storage setup is the new project for our setup. So this project has three folders. It has an application folder, which is the, the folder where your like exe and all of its assembly files are gonna be. Then a, a folder for the user's desktop and then a folder for the user's program menu. So first we go to the application folder and we're gonna add a new project output. So this is gonna copy over the EXE and other required DLLs that your project outputs when you build it. Um, this is gonna be what's normally in like your debug folder. Um, all right, so from here, we can create a shortcut. So this is gonna be my desktop shortcut. I'm gonna call it evil storage. Okay, so I'm going to import a file actually into here, which is going to be our icon because I have a custom icon that I'm going to use. So then you can go to your new desktop shortcut and you can change the icon. So I just right click properties over here. You have icon and click browse, click browse again, go into your application folder and then you can choose the icon. So now this will have that same icon that I would like. I can drag it over to the user's desktop then I'm going to create one more shortcut that I'm also going to call evil storage. And I'm going to go to its properties again. We're going to add the icon again. Same icon. Um, you have to have the icon file in your applications folder to be able to access it. So now I'm going to create a new folder in the program menu called evil co, which is just going to be the subfolder for the application in the user's program menu. They're just usually in a subfolder. So that's why we're doing that. So then we just drag our shortcut in there. So we have our desktop, we have that, um, and we're pretty much ready to go as far as the shortcuts go. So if we click on our new setup project and we go to the properties window, we can actually change um, the author, which I'm gonna set it to evil co, and then we can, give, um, an e we can give a description to the application, I'm just saying evil description and there's a bunch of other stuff that you can set up like uh, support phone number support URL like this is like the website and stuff like that but I'm just gonna change the author description and I'll also change the manufacturer because that's used for the install location so I'm gonna save those changes and now I'm gonna go to the properties 
for this new project and you can actually go to prerequisites down here and you can make the .NET framework a prerequisite. So I have 4.7.2 by default, which is fine. And it will automatically download the .NET framework from Microsoft's website um, when the user does the setup, which is really handy. Um, another thing you can do is go to the configuration manager and change the evil storage and storage setup, um, change them to the release versions. Um, this is just showing because I had an old project in here that needs to be deleted. But yeah, you just take your main project and this project and change them to release from debug. So that's all you really do in here. So once you've got all that set up, you can click build on your setup project and it will build the project and actually create the MSI and the EXE for your project. Okay, so once it finishes building, you can right click and open folder in File Explorer, go to release because we chose the release version, and then go to setup.exe and that will run your installation wizard. Um, you can click next a few times through that and it will properly install the application. If you go to your desktop, there's going to be a new desktop shortcut there that will open your application. And if you go to your start menu and all programs, I, I have a special little start menu here because I liked the Windows 7 one, but that's a whole other thing. But yeah, under all programs, there's also the option there for me. And last but not least would be going to your programs and features and then looking for evil storage here. But yeah, that's pretty much it. Uh, if your goal was just to create an installer package, um, that pretty much covers everything I think you'll need to know to get started. The key to all of this is that Microsoft Visual Studio installer projects and creating the new project and just setting up the settings and going through the menus. So yeah, that about wraps up creating an installer package in Visual Studio. I hope this was helpful and if you wouldn't mind liking and subscribing, it would really help the channel out and I'll see you in the next video.